I'm just gonna address some of your questions here. How does this happen? Well, for this particular gentleman and some of the people that come into the office to see me, um, a lot of them have super narrow um, curvy ear canals and, the, and they overproduce earwax. And so as it works its way out of the ear from the eardrum to the outside of the ear, it builds up, it gets caught and it's hard for it to get to the outside of the ear. People with conditions like that are trying to manage it and they cannot keep up with it or they cannot get to the inside where it gets stuck. Sometimes they need professional care. Um, some of you are asking, does everybody have this? No, not everybody has this. Um, most people don't. Most people have just a little bit of wax, which is normal in the ear canal. It's, it works its way out and you can simply clean it with a, a dry towel or a, um, or even take a Q-tip to the outside of the ear canal, but not much deeper than that. How do you know if it's the case for you? Well, if it was the case for you, when you follow up with your primary care physician at your annual physical, he would be telling you or she would be telling you all the time, hey, you have a gunk of wax in your ears, you need to have this taken out, or they would take it out for you. There are also cameras um, that you can get online where you can take a peek in and you can see what's in there or you can go to an audiologist or an ENT and have them look in there for you too.